So I have these old coin books here. These um, were my father's and part of the collection that I took on from him. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these. Um, not really a fan of the books. And I'm debating whether or not I should just take everything out of here and put them in their respective coin tubes and label them. Um, I'm not familiar with every specific year of each of these denominations. I mean, there's probably some key dates in here. I don't know. And I assume the ones that are missing are the ones that are more expensive, like 1932D, 1932S, 1934D. I mean, he's missing those. Um, and there's, what's this? This goes from 32 to 45. And then from 46 to 59, I think he's missing, he's missing one of them, the 1949D. And it says 10 million. So I don't know, for any of these, so he's got 1946 to 54, missing 49. But are any of these of any significance? You know, he's got everything here, it looks like, other than those two from that particular period of time. And I just don't have the time... I have to go and research every single coin's particular year and mintage to know if I got something that's worth maybe setting aside some way, somehow. Um, but I just don't care for these books. And um, here's the last one. Starting 1960, number three. And uh, this goes up to... I mean, he's got... I believe they stopped being... All right, a little bit of technical difficulties knocking the tripod over. But anyway, these are the Washington Quarters, 1960 and up. And so I know that, okay, so up to 64, and then it goes to cl clad coinage starting in 65. So these aren't 90% silver. And he looks like he filled in some of the dates here. Um, but honestly, I don't know if it's just worth putting these in a tube and labeling them because these are just, I mean, these are 50-year-old books, I think. Um, so he's got those quarters. He has Roosevelt Dimes collection starting 1946. And again, uh, it looks like he has the whole set. Are there any key dates that I should be aware of from 1946 to 1964 across all mints? It looks like SD. Um, looks like that's it. And then some don't have a mint mark, it looks like. But so these are all basically looks like used condition or some are, I don't know, really bad to okay shape. But it seems to be a complete set. And um, maybe drop them in a coin tube and then label them. But again, I'm just curious if there's any any sort of key dates for this Roosevelt Dimes that I should be keeping an eye out for. And then he's got the Franklin halves. Um, and I think this is a full set, 48 to 63. Um, and again, he's got or had all the different mints, mint marks. So there's an S, a D, and then one that's just no mint mark. So in the Franklin half uh, denomination, is there a, a key date or are these no, really no big deal in the grand scheme of things? And just, you know, maybe I can just drop these in a tube just for store. I just like to store them better in tubes. It's like less mass, you know? Uh, and then lastly, the Liberty walking halves, for which he's missing several. And he may have sold some of these on his own. Um, I made a video when I first took on this collection. You know, I was freely admitted I didn't know what I was looking at or what I was doing. And, and man, did I get a, a lot of, uh, I guess, vitriol <laughs> about how I handle the coins and whatever. But, um, you know, I had mentioned he sold off quite a bit of his collection when silver hit like $50 an ounce. I know he used to have a lot of Morgan dollars. There's none of that in this or that I took on. But so I'm assuming that what I'm looking at here in the Walker, Walking Liberty half, these are just sort of generic uh, years. Um, and what he's missing, I mean, he's got 18, 18S, 19, 19, you know. Um, and he's missing quite a few of these. So I'm going to make an assumption that a lot of what I'm looking at are generic run-of-the-mill mint dates. But for those experts out there, and there's quite a few, and they definitely love to point out what I don't know. And it's, it's really it's funny. It's like one comment was, um, how could you be into sports cards and not know anything about coins? And like, what the hell kind of correlation is that? You know, it's almost like if I gave my dad, if he was alive, my graded card collection and then gave him shit because he didn't know what he was looking at. He never collected cards. You know what I'm saying? So 
uh, anyway, I just, it's just stupid. But, uh, and this is the last book, 41 to 47. And this probably is the most complete of the coin books. Um, but again, I, you know, I thought about, you know, going on eBay and like typing in every single one of these things to see if the, if there was any significance um, across these different denominations in mint marks. Uh, I'm under the impression that what is missing are the most expensive ones. And, um, you know, what remains, maybe some, I don't know, run-of-the-mill, I guess just, just to have them to have them kind of thing. So anyhow, if anybody's familiar with these particular coins, um, the question is, is there anything of value here? other than the intangible value and the sentimental value um, of this collection. And then, you know, I just don't care for these books and, and thinking maybe maybe coin tubes are the way to go. But at the same time, should I separate out any key dates if there are any? So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.